Good morning guys, so I'm starting today's vlog in a very unusual position. I'm currently in the bath, which is really weird to vlog whilst I'm in a bath, but try not to get any of my body parts in this video. But I am basically planning on having a little bit of a glow up and I just thought I want to document because honestly it just makes you feel really really good when you have a nice bath, put some tan on, do your makeup, get a nice little outfit put together. And one really exciting thing that's happening today is I'm getting my hair extensions fitted, which is the first time for me. I originally had my appointment back in the end of March, but obviously it's been delayed and delayed because of lockdown. So today is the day I'm getting fitted and I'm having the Beauty Works Nano in the shade Scandinavian Blonde and I think Mocha Melt. I'm not 100% sure on the other colour. I'm going to let you guys follow me as I have my, you know, glow up experience, I guess. I just really enjoy watching these types of videos as well. I also just really wanted to create one. I know it's weird that I'm sat in the bath and vlogging, but you know, I'm trying to open myself up a little bit more on my channel, as you can probably tell. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how different I look by the end of this vlog. So yeah, for my bath, I just want to show you guys what I'm going to be using in terms of products. I've got the Bleach London Silver Shampoo and Silver Conditioner. I'm going to put a small amount of this in because the hair extensions were matched to my colour that I had back in March and I was using this product at the time so I'm going to use a tiny amount of this just to give my hair a little bit of silver into it and then I've got the shampoo as well just to wash it out a little bit afterwards and then for my skin I'm going to be using this exfoliator which I got previously in my glossy box and I've also got this Real Chemistry cleansing foam which I'm going to use afterwards. So I've just finished with my bath. Excuse the fact I look like a man right now. I can't believe I'm vlogging myself looking like this and these rashes on my neck. I'm really sensitive so I have exfoliated and it just happens all over my body. It's super weird but yeah I look like a man but we're going to embrace it. We're going to be confident in this video and just go with the flow. So I'm going to show you what tan I'm going to be using today. I've got until two o'clock to get myself all glammed up ready for my hair appointment so really looking forward to it. So for my tan I'm going to be using the filter by Molly May which looks like this honestly this tan is like a game changer if you don't already have it I highly recommend you know buying it because it's so good I've got the shade medium just because I'm completely new to tan I've never really used it before so I just thought it would be a safe bet to go for and then I've also got the Molly May tan and mitt as well this is super soft and really easy to apply the mousse with so I love this I have actually washed it so it's a little bit cleaner than what it was before and yeah I just keep it all in this little bag that kind of comes with it don't know if it's the purpose of it but I just put it all in here and keep it on my dressing table so I'm gonna put my tan on now and feel a hundred percent better I hate the way I look without makeup and especially after a bath but it's got to be done I've got to do it I've got to embrace my naturalness somewhere down the line so today is that video <laughs> okay so I've got my tan I've just put some underwear on because you're probably thinking I'm some kind of nudist by the time this video finished but I'm just going to show you how I do my face it's not really that exciting this tan was £29.99 on the um, website I think you can get it on pretty little thing as well I'm not 100% sure but on the official website it was £29.99 and then the mitt was £9.99 I think I will leave it in the description box below anyway so you guys can check it out for yourselves but I've got a small amount on my hand here <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't look too bad. It looks bad on camera, like my teeth have instantly got whiter. So I'm gonna apply a little bit on my arms so you guys can see how I do it. Like, to be honest, I haven't really been shown how to put tan on myself. I've just kind of taught myself, so I don't know how bad of a job I do, but, you know, I'm trying to be more feminine these days, so that is the plan. <laughs> If you're wondering what these little patches are as well, I do have a little bit of like eczema and dry skin around my arms, so that is why. Hi guys, so I've just finished applying my tan, I've just had a little bit of lunch as well, so I'm going to quickly dry my hair, I look hideous at the moment, I am fully aware of that. I've got a little bit of Aussie SOS Heat Saviour Spray, which I'm going to spray all over just to protect it. This is the shortest you guys are going to see my hair in a very long time, so appreciate that. My tan is all completed and done. I'm going to brush through my hair and then blow dry it out, ready for my 
appointment. I have been trying to wash my hair twice per week because my hairdresser told me that I really need to cut down on washing it. And to be honest, since I've been doing that, my hair has been growing a lot more quicker. Um, as you can see, my roots here are like past my ear now, which is just crazy. And that is literally all I do to my hair. So I'm gonna go over my whole head, dry it out, and then move on to my makeup. so this is my makeup following my makeup application I've just gone for a basic everyday kind of look I've gone a little bit darker on my eyelids and then I've also added a little bit of color on my lips as well I feel like you don't have to go full glam to feel like you've had a glow up or a massive change in terms of your face so I've just gone and kept it a little bit natural ish I am going to quickly show you guys what arrived today because honestly I love these shoes so much I have actually posted a picture of these on my Instagram so this is what arrived today and I do plan on wearing these to the salon and for the rest of the day I'm not quite sure which ones I want to wear today because I can't really decide so these are the first pair so honestly guys these shoes are just stunning I love them so much they are a pair of black studded sliders. Now, if you know me and you've been following me for a while, you know I love sliders and I can't get enough of them. These ones were £25, I think. You get like 10% off at the end like of the checkout. But look how pretty these are. Let me take the tissue out of this one. Honestly, they're like the coolest sliders I feel like I, I actually own. These are amazing. So I've got a choice between these or yes there's an or i've got another pair from the same website this was aj voyage something like that again if you want i will leave the link to these shoes in the description box below these ones i'm not sure whether you will like because it depends on the person but they look a little bit like grandma shoes but they've had a bit of a glam makeover like look at these they've got like a edgy kind of like trainer bottom we've got the glam like gems and all over it. it just i just feel like these are super cool i've never seen anything like this before so yeah i'm very torn as to which ones i should wear today i've been spoiling myself way too much these days i need to stop i need to slow down i am fully aware of that after this month after my birthday month is over I'm gonna do it, I have to. I've got no other choice but to slow down with my spending. But yeah, I feel like because I'm driving, I'm gonna have to go for the safer option and go for these, just because I just feel like with driving and wearing new pairs of shoes, I wanna be comfortable. And there's my alarm going off. It's been half an hour. I am trying to time myself so that I'm not late for my appointment because that would be really embarrassing. So before I leave, I'm going to quickly show you the colour of my nails that I've just painted. I've gone for like a pink colour. Didn't film it just because I'm rushing around too much. I've used the Nails Ink in the shade Blossom Kisses, which looks a little bit like this. And it's something that I received in my glossy box a couple of months back. And I just think it's really, really pretty. And I've also got it on my toes as well, which I'm not going to show you because I'm not a big toe lover so i've just gone for like a casual comfy outfit because i am going to be in the salon for around three hours overall because it takes that long to fit them in so this is the last time you're going to see my hair all natural and all me so yeah it's gonna be really weird the main reason why i'm going for extensions today is because i want to basically grow out my hair all natural i haven't seen my natural hair color since i was about 10 years old maybe 11 i had a really bad haircut at the salon and then i used a hair dye just to kind of like fix it and make me feel better and since then i fell in love with hair dye and long story short here i am struggling to grow my hair out so yeah that's the reason why i want hair extensions i just really want to have long hair for the first time in my life 
and then I also want to be able to take them out afterwards and have my own natural colour because I haven't seen it properly like I said in ages so it'd be really cool to see in a couple of years time or maybe next year or six months down the line what my hair looks like all natural because it is a massive myth that when you get hair extensions your hair gets really damaged and falls out and stuff but it really does depend on who's doing your extensions for you. I've done a lot of research on this hair extensions procedure, I haven't just jumped into it. I researched people around my area and just gone for the person who I feel like is the most trustworthy, shares their work in flash without flash, shows all their nano and like the techniques that they use. So yeah, I just feel like I trust this person to transform my hair and make sure that my hair is not affected afterwards through wearing them so that was something that was really important to me because I've heard a lot of really bad horror stories about wearing hair extensions and then losing hair because of it I don't feel like with this lady's work that's gonna happen to my hair so so yeah I'm gonna step into my car get myself to the salon and I'll see you guys afterwards so in three two one this is my hair transformation honestly I'm obsessed I love it so much honestly I was a little bit worried that long hair wouldn't suit me because I've had it short for so long but I am in love, I love it, I could cry, it just looks amazing. It doesn't even look like I've got extensions in does it? To be honest, like the colour match is just perfect. The woman who did this hair is just talented on the next level, I am just obsessed with it, it just looks so so pretty, like look at this colour. The length is perfect as well. As I said, I was very worried about the length. I didn't think it would suit me being this long, but I love it. It took a while to get used to, and I think it's gonna take a very long time to get used to it properly. Like styling it's gonna be different, drying it, everything is gonna be so different. So I actually feel like I look my own age for the first time in like five years. One thing as well, because obviously I put my fake tan on before I went to the hairdressers, it smells so bad, like you can smell the fake tan, it's really really strong. So the first thing I'm going to do is wash that off. I love the colour, if you're wondering on the colour actually, it was in fact Scandinavian Blonde and Mocha Melt blended together to create this really gorgeous colour. Honestly, I feel like a new person, I just love it. Before I end the video, I just want to quickly show you what my hair looks like from behind. So, as you can see from before, it is a massive massive difference so yeah I'm really really happy with the extensions I feel like this is the best thing I've ever done in terms of like making decisions like getting these extensions they've made me so happy and I cannot wait to see how I can style them throughout the next year so yeah if you enjoyed watching this video and following my transformation for today then don't forget to smash this a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more of this luscious hair and see more from me in the future and I hope you're all staying safe looking after each other and I will hope to see you again in my next video bye